now finally let's talk about what if you want to combine bits subs and dollars all in the same bar how would you do that okay that's a little complicated but i will show you okay let me show you first what the overlay widget looks like um so we'll go to i called it subs bits and dollars right here you have to choose custom for the goal type uh position is the same as always okay now you'll notice this is the one this is the one uh widget that will or one of the few widgets that will take special identifiers which are like your variables uh goal amount will stay at 100 that's fine um now there's actually a lot going into this um like update dono um special identifier so let me show you what is going into that and as far as uh what it says over here uh okay i didn't update this this is just what it is by default okay so let us go look at um the other commands that i made okay so we'll type in uh dono these are all of the dono commands that i made uh we'll first look at the bits dono command Okay, also reminder, you want to make sure you set up the permissions to um, advanced uh, and then streamer and moderator. Uh, where is it? And moderator, there you go, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, so first block, uh, go to the drop down, click it, look for special identifier and add that. Uh, this first one I call bits dono, uh, which is arg one text slash one hundred. Um, so that's an amount that I'm entering into a command, um, and we're dividing that by a hundred because a hundred bits is one dollar. So, uh, yeah, that's why we're dividing it by a hundred. Uh, make it globally usable. And set it up as a math expression so we can do math with it. Uh, now you're going to either want to make a text file or a counter. If you want to make a counter, uh, click on the drop down here. Go to uh, counter with the plus sign. And this is not going to stay in this action. We're just going here to create a new file. So we'll click on save to file. Uh, give it a name. I called mine total dono. It's already set up here. But then uh, click on set and set it to zero and press the play button. Okay. Uh, and if you want to go to your counters folder, click on this button. And there you go. And there's my total dono.txt file. Uh, and that is where we're keeping track of the total donation uh, between bits, subscriptions, and dollars. Okay, so let's, let's delete this. We don't need it. Uh, okay, so then over here, uh, what we're doing is um, initially it's going to be set to zero. Okay, we receive a bits donation. We're going to uh, remove specific line from file. So we're deleting the one and only line that is in that total dono file. Okay, uh, that's just line one, and we're calling it total dono. And we have another special identifier called update dono and update dono is going to be your new donation total um so in this case because it's bits it's going to be dollar sign total dono plus dollar sign bits dono okay and then we're going to use a file action again and we're going to save to file uh the total dono.txt file and the text we're going to save is dollar sign update dono okay uh and then as as we did with the followers bar the bits bar the subscription bar uh donation bar uh we want to hide our sub bits dollar bar and then we want to show it in order to refresh it as soon as a some sort of donation is made so that's how you set up the bit side and 
subscriptions subscriptions and dollars will be similar but a little bit different what I'll suggest doing is after you make this command uh, click on uh, export actions to file so you can import that in your dollar dono file and your subs dono file hey what's going on this is gold from the future uh, looking at previous gold and I had arg1 text here in the bits dono um, a special identifier and actually that could just be uh, latest bits cheered amount that'll get you the last amount cheered and you just divide it by 100 that way you don't have to supply an argument and you would keep it simpler by doing that so just a heads up on that okay so let's look at the dollar dono file or uh, command rather so we have a dollars uh, special identifier which we call a dollar dono now we actually don't necessarily need this because we have a, a built-in special identifier to mix it up called dollar sign donation amount number so that gives you um, the dollar amount including the decimal and the good thing is that uh, the bar takes decimals uh, for me I want to have the decimals but I believe if you go to the mix it up uh, special identifiers, you can also just get whole numbers, but I would double check on that. Uh, okay, then we have a file read uh, and write action. Uh, and then again, removing the first line of that file uh, and calling the special identifier total dono. Uh, again, we have update dono special identifier. We're going total dono plus dollar sign dollar dono. Or it could be total dono, dollar sign total dono plus dollar sign donation amount number. Either one of those is fine because they're basically the same thing. And then file, read and write, save the file to the total dono.txt file. And we're going to save the dollar sign update dono to this file. And now it'll have the updated amount. Um, and then again, yeah, hide the overlay show the overlay to refresh the overlay. And that is it for dollar dono. Let's look at subs dono. Okay. Now for subs dono, we have, I'm setting it to 2.5. And the reason for that is because uh, number one, uh, most common sort of gift sub is a, like, you know, the $5 gift sub or at least that's how much it costs us here in the US um, now I'm gonna suggest if you think you're going to get a tier 2 gift sub or a tier 3 gift sub I would make a subs 2 dono and whatever amount you net from a tier 2 sub I'd put that amount here so if a tier two sub is 999 and you get five bucks from that, then instead of putting 2.5 here, put five. And that also means that um, when you use this command, when you're gifted a sub, that means you're gonna have to check, you have to use a conditional to check whether the gift sub is a tier two gift sub. Because you don't wanna use, this, you don't wanna use a subs to dono command if it is a sub, uh, is it a tier one sub, basically? So make sure that you, if you're gonna check for tier two and tier three subs, that you are doing that in the subscription events. Okay, so we remove the first line from total dono that txt. Uh, we change update dono to total dono plus sub dono. Uh, we're gonna save it to the total dono txt file called dollar sign update dono for the special identifier. Uh, we're gonna hide the overlay and then we're gonna show the overlay to update it. Okay. And then finally, uh, actually no, that's it. That's all of them. Um, now, let's say you're done um, with your goal and you wanna set it to zero. I made a reset dono command in case you don't wanna go to event, or sorry, not events, go to overlay widget look for your widget then type in zero for starting amount if you want to skip all that you can just use this command so reset dono 
it's simply going to take the first line of the totaljournal.txt file via the file action. And then we're going to insert um, zero on line one. And that's how we'll reset um, the totaljournal.txt file. So why don't we do a little test to just see that it works. Uh, let's go to the overlay widgets. And let's go to subs, bits, and dollars. Where are you? Yeah, subs, bits, and dollars. We'll show that. OK, so we'll go uh, bits. Oh, let me show you my um, chat. Do you see that I'm entering the command? We'll go bits, dono, uh, one. 100, sorry. Hey, what's going on? This is Gold from the Future again. Um, I was having some issues with my bar, so I uh, went off off camera to, or off recording to uh, figure out what was going on, and it is fixed now. Uh, but yeah, so let me show you that this works. So we'll go to, um, for the purposes of testing, in bits dono, um, let me go back out here. For bits dono, uh, for now, I have set this back to arg1 text just so I could test that it works when I use the command. I'm going to change it back to uh, latest bits cheered amounts. Uh, let me make that bigger for you. Um, after I'm done. And then same with uh, the dollar dono uh, command. I will be changing this back to um, the donation amount number instead of argon text. It's just argon text right now, just so I can put in a random number and see that it updates accordingly. So yeah. We'll save that for now. Uh, okay, so let me show you. So you got the overlay widget on screen. Let me show you my chat so I can show you me entering the command and my bar updating accordingly. Uh, let's see. So let's go. Let's go bits dono 100. Okay, it updated by a dollar. Let's try uh, bits dono 50. I haven't tested this yet, so hopefully it works. OK, it works. And then let's go uh, Let's go subs dono. Subs dono, I'm only checking for, um, what is it? Um, tier 1 subs, OK? Uh, let's see. So go subs dono. Oh, I think I spelled it wrong. I spelled said sub dono, subs dono. Okay, it went up by 2.5 from 1.5, which is 4. That's good. Uh, let's try dollar dono. Let's try $5. Should we, be, we should be at $9 after I enter this. Okay, and there you go. That works as well. So now, as far as where you enter these commands, uh, where you use these commands, uh, we'll go to events. Um, let's see, we should have a bits cheered event. Okay, so you have a bits cheered event here, and that's where you're going to use um, the bits dono command. So there's action, command, and um, you know chat, and then bits dono command. I'm not. I'm not doing any, uh, you know, goals right now, so I'm not going to include that right now. And yeah, I would just encourage you to disable it if you're not using it, um, or make a command that disables all of those commands, all of those dono commands. Um, and then as far as uh, subs, uh, let's see, subscription gifted. Now, what I haven't tested for is if someone gifts more than one sub at a time, will it count towards every gift sub? That I don't know. You'll have to tell me. 
And if it doesn't work for multiple gift subs, let me know and I will adjust and try to figure that out. But it definitely works for at least, you know, a single gift sub. But yeah, just let me know. Let me know so I can fix that if, if it becomes a problem. Um, and then for donations, uh, whichever one of these services you're using to receive a donation, include your dollar dono command there. Um, and then, yeah, after you do that, you should be all set to have a goal bar that updates when you receive subs, bits, or dollars. Okay. And remember, um, if you changed uh, in bits dono, if you change the latest bits cheered to argon text, change that back to the latest bits cheered. And same for dollar dono. If you change that from, uh, what is it, um, donation amount number to argon text, again, change that back to donation amount number. So you're getting the real numbers and not the fake numbers you're entering in chat. And I believe that is it. If anything is confusing, if you're having any issues getting this running, let me know. I'll try to help you out in the in the comments below. And if that still doesn't work, we can chat on Discord. I can help you one-on-one -on -one, try to figure this out if you're still not able to figure this out with me helping you um, in the YouTube comments. So yeah, just leave a message in the comments and let me know and I'll help you get this figured out. And yeah, everyone, thank you for watching. I think I'm done making uh, bar videos for a while. I've made a bar video for like everything. So <laughs> so I think I'm done making those for now. Um, I will come up with more content to make uh, for uh, Mix It Up. If you have any ideas for me, for things you'd like to see, let me know and I'll make it. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to ask me questions or chat with me on uh, Twitch or YouTube, you could join me at twitch.tv slash ministry gold or youtube.com slash ministry gold. Um, I stream around like 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Like Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Saturday, Sundays, basically. Well, Saturday, Sunday, I'm like at noon CST. But yeah, everyone, thank you for watching. Hope that was helpful and have a good one. Adios.